I wanted to come up with ideas that are DIY friendly, they're budget friendly, they're easy to do, they're fun to do with the kids. So here we go, let's get started. Okay. All right, so right here we have the cork board that everyone's got one lying around, whether it's in your office, right, your or home, home office, or whatever. in the cellar, or whatever. Exactly, so we're taking those leftover ornaments after we've already decorated the tree, there's always a few hanging around. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put some fish wire on so it's clear. You're gonna lay the cork board down on the ground and lay it all out the way you want. I mean, this is so easy, you guys, and so fun, and kids love this stuff. So I would start from the bottom and work my way up so that we don't have any crazy overlap. It's just so easy, just like that. Whoops! <laughs> so easy, just like that. <laughs> Here, let's try that again. <laughs> all right, no so. There's no place left. I know, I just it up. That's very cute. But isn't it adorable? Yes. And it's fun for the kids' room. They can have their own little yeah. tree on the corkboard. Exactly. Okay. This one is very this cool. This is good. This, this is, is good. fun. What are we going to do with those leftover little skinny pieces of wrapping paper? This is so clever. Yes. We're going to roll it up. We're going to take the scissors. I mean, the scissors, the staples. <laughs> kind of give it a nice little roll. And okay. back to the tacks. This is You're so tacky. <laughs> <laughs> this is foam core wrapped with just some uh, brown, brown paper. Yep. Brown oh, butcher Rachel, paper. You got it. I broke my tack. <laughs> We're not making this as user friendly as we thought, right? But what a great repurpose for all that leftover wrapping paper. It's fun. And then on the bottom here, we actually took the roll itself. We wrapped it in twine. But you know, if you have a little TP roll left over or Cute. paper towel roll, yeah, it's a fun, again, super fun. And it's a great and way easy. to decorate. And right. easy. And easy. Yes. All right. And if you live in, in New York City or a big urban area, that's a fun idea for an apartment door. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you just put some foam cord on the front door. If you don't want to be dragging a Christmas tree up, I don't know, however, however well, many flights of stairs. It, it, you know, I have lived in New York, oh gosh, 25 years now. I still don't have room enough for a Christmas tree. I decorate the windowsills and stuff. And you still have nine Christmas trees? No, no, upstate. Else. That's yeah, in the yeah. country. Everywhere in else. In the city, we have zero. <laughs> I want to see these Christmas trees. Okay, so here's a great idea for an alternative wreath. So they don't all have to be green, you know, evergreen wreaths. We're gonna take the mason jar lids, you know, these little rings here. We, I'm sure I, we I got, got a lot. lot of mason jars in they're our everywhere. kitchen. They're flat, they're all around. We drink around. out of them in the summer, mm -hmm. put hot daddies in them in the winter. Yeah, like we that. use them to uh, give people gifts in, you know, you're a homemade, Cooking stuff? I don't know. She's just gluing. She just loves the glue well, gun. Well, you put me next to a glue so gun. <laughs> I'm assuming you want glue on this. this no, is why I love you because she just loves a glue gun. So we're gonna glue these together in a Christmas tree formation. Okay. And once we get them basically put together, we're gonna take a little twine. I'm gonna try this again with the ornaments. And. We're gonna tie the ornament around in each of these little loops. I'm just gonna let that cool down for a second. All right. All right, I'm so, sticking these together. Then what do I do? And, then, and we're talking about very, very inexpensive. No, what do we do? Just, you just keep doing that. That's good. I'm gonna take this. See that? She's like, you just keep doing <laughs> you just that. Do that. That's fine. That's fine. You're good. Oh, okay. And then we're gonna and tie then you this put together. A loop around them. Yes. And when we're all done, we are gonna take. This cutie little Aww. wreath and hang it. Isn't that so cute? Please that don't fall. Please don't She's fall. She's like, please don't fall. Just please stay. don't fall. <laughs> don't slam the <laughs> door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, all of these projects are so cheap because it's a lot of leftover stuff. Yeah. You know, we're not spending a lot of money to do this, and it's just they're cheerful fun. and it's easy. Fun. It's fun to do. With yeah. The this I love too. Yes. So this is fabulous, and everyone can do this. Such an easy way to decorate. Not right. just your front door. You can do it to a tall leaning mirror. It's you could beautiful. wrap up a big painting that's in your house if you want to bring that festive look inside the house. We're gonna get some fabric that's all weather fabric if you're gonna do it outside. Cellophane works great. <laughs> just beautiful. Yeah, and then know that if you're gonna wrap it all the way around the door, you want to do two and two times the amount of right. fabric, right? Right, right, so and otherwise it can't you can be too thick, it. too. You can't buy thick yeah. fabric, or the, you, the door won't close, right? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that but could it's be a, an it's issue around Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>